Hey guys, um, pretty cool you're watching this. We've been doing this YouTube channel for over two years now, and we thought we'd let you guys know a little bit, a little bit about us. All right, take two. Take three. Number the three. The chopper's gone. I had a food blog called Sweets and Greens, which I actually still have, and I always wanted to do a YouTube channel, but I was always too nervous in front of the camera, and I think you gave me a bit of confidence to actually be in front of the camera. It's taken a while, and I'm still getting there, but um, we actually just like, let's just start it and do it. We started as Travel Fit, so it was going to be more of a traveling slash sport channel, but then we worked out really we're triathletes, and we wanted to be more sport related and triathlon related, so now we're TriFit. I started triathlon in 1996 and I had a mate who was doing triathlon. I was doing a bit of running and riding, couldn't swim a length of the pool and he talked me into it. So what's that, 25 years ago? I started in 2012 uh, because I was with a running club and there was a few people from the running club doing triathlon and they said, you, you should do it, it's fun. So I've been going 11 years. Uh, my main sport at school was rowing. I played a lot of sport, but my main one was soccer, football, I would call it. And I started playing when I was 10 and I played my last game when I was 42. That's when I took up triathlon. I used to be a woman. Huh? <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh. I thought you saw the scar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asthmatic. That's, which one's real? <laughs> um, I've been vegan for 12 years. Sprint 57 minutes something. Going back into the 90s here, of course. Olympic 159.36, I remember that. I broke the two hours. Half Ironman, four hours 30, never went under 4.30, and never done an Ironman. Mine, I don't usually remember them, so I actually had to look this up. 1.23 for a sprint, 2.37 for an Olympic, 5.36 for a half, and my one and only Ironman was 14.16. So all my best are off the bike, actually. So I never used to do straight runs, I just did tries. My best 5K was 17.03. And my best 10K, which was at Noosa, which was actually the year I broke two hours, was 35.18. Wow. My best 5K is was Park Run 23.46. And my best 10K was at the old Runaway Bay series. Um, I did 48.41. Oh, breaking two hours for Olympic distance by far. I don't even know what mine is. It doesn't have to be a fast know. race, it can just be your best race. My favourite race is was Challenge Melbourne, which yeah. is where I did my best 70.3, which has now become Ironman. And I think that was that probably was, your best race. That was my best race and I was actually injured and I was only going to do the swim and the bike and then pull out. And I started running and was like, oh, I think I can do this. So I just plodded along and I actually had a really, really good race. You had a corker. So I'm a bicycle accessory sales rep and my area is from Port Douglas, way up North Queensland, all the way down to a place called Foster, which is in New South Wales, and west into a place called Tamworth. It's a huge territory. And I'd call on the bike shops and all the stuff you see hanging on the walls, that's the stuff I sell. Lights, pumps, locks, tyres, tubes. And that's what enables us to travel a lot as well. Because that's we right. usually travel for Tim's work. So we're lucky there. Uh, I do marketing and social media for a steel fabrications company. So it's called Metal On Fabrications. And if you want a fire pit, hit me up. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> There's probably a stronger chance it will snow here in Brisbane than our kids doing triathlon. Yes. 
So I have two children. I have a son, Trent, who's 29, and a daughter, Brianna, who's 27, and neither of them do triathlon. I have a daughter who's 16, who lives with us full time, and I have a son who's 11. How and you... they were from previous relationships, if you hadn't worked that out. <laughs> yes, we don't have any together. We have thought about it. We just want to see, if we, can get the, see if we can get the blue eyes going. <laughs> neither are, None of our children have blue it's eyes. It's just what we need at 51, <laughs> a screaming baby. I was working part-time in a bike shop down on the Gold Coast at Chugan, Storm Cycles, and Amanda was a customer. And you came in, I think, to get a service on your bike. Yes, it was just before Tweed Enduro. And I said to Sheridan, oh, she's a bit nice, who's that? And I remember she said, leave her alone, she's married. I wasn't. And then like a okay. month later, I think she said, Amanda's not married, she's separated. And I think I found you on Facebook then, didn't I? And yeah. I said hi and tried to sweet talk you and let's catch up and you said I might be able to see you in a month. <laughs> I was busy. <laughs> so I had, I had things on. I was working, oh. I was volunteering at the Commonwealth Games in, on the Gold Coast and I was training for an Ironman. Just couldn't fit a person in well, my life. Well, good thing I persevered because <laughs> I'll see you in a month. I could have just run off. But I did persevere and now we're engaged. Still here. Blue. Blue. Uh, so 186 centimetres or just under six foot two in the old scar. I think only tall people like to know how tall they are. If you're short, you don't really know. <laughs> so, but I have found out since knowing you, I'm 162 centimetres. Donuts, hot cinnamon donuts, like the video that we ate Double. 12 each, me oh. and Dan. I was going to say the double fried donuts. We've done two food videos mm. and they've both been donuts. Not the healthiest choice, but... Bananas. I'm going to really? say bananas. Mm. You love week. bananas? Yeah. Antarctica, out of doubt. If I could only go one place for the rest of my life, it would be Antarctica. And I want to see penguins. And we're going to go. Yeah, and I want to do the marathon there. That I'm going to run a marathon. So I really want to see Antarctica. We'll do a video on that. My ultimate destination is the land I live in. Travel Australia. I think we're lucky to live here and I want to see every little back lane of Australia. That'd be my favourite destination. <laughs> well, ours, of course. <laughs> so we have merch and we'll put a link. So this is the tank. We have tanks, we have t shirts, and we have hoodies. And pink's so, not only for girls, it's in the boys' lineup yeah. too, because I love pink. Nice. Anyway, check them out. We have t shirts, singlets. Hoodies, a baby suit. No, but if you've got Kaz, a baby. we put that on for you because you had a baby and a mug. And a bag, canvas bag. Oh, yeah, and a bag. Yeah, because no one likes plastic. Oh, for me it was Chris McCormack, without a doubt. Retired now, but I loved his arrogance. And he could put his money where his mouth was. So he'd do the uh, trash talk, but then he'd go and win the race. So. As far as a current triathlete, someone who seems to be following in his footsteps, probably Sam Long. Mm. He's a bit loud and obnoxious, but having some great results. So he's up there with one of my favourites at the moment. I really like Ash Gentle. Yeah. Yeah. So female triathletes from the Gold Coast. For me, Phuket. I had uh, some races I wanted to do. One of them was um, uh, Julia which Creek. Which we did. Outback, which we did. I wanted to do, it's not there anymore, but the Saipan X Terra did that many years ago. It's discontinued. And another one I've just always wanted to do is the Phuket Triathlon. So I'm going to say that one. I want to do Taupo. Um, and we're actually planning on that 2023 Taupo Ironman. We're thinking March next year so March 2022 so our plan is to do an event for our honeymoon and we've got some criteria around that so it can't be a place that either of us have been to or so obviously an event that either of us have done before so we found one in uh, Outback Queensland that we're thinking of doing so we just have to make sure that it's on next year and then we'll plan our wedding the week before that Put them in the comments below and we'll either answer them in the comments or do another video. Yeah. So hopefully you found out a little bit more about us. That's it. Questions.
Subscribe, like. Be a tri-fitter. Buy some merch. Mine's got a stain on it. <laughs>